Hello. How's it going, beautiful people? All right, well, you know, let's just get straight to it. If any of you beautiful people tuned into the Oscars yesterday, then I have no respect for you. Hi! I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All I'm saying is that if you get your high from basically watching adult professional fakers pat themselves on the back for being, you know, adult professional fakers, um, then I really have to question how sad your life is, to be totally honest. Touché. So, to all of those people that regularly tune into this farcical, hypocritical congregation of grown-up, make-believing, out-of-touch multimillionaires congratulating themselves on being the most important people in our society, then I would like to direct you to this clip. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Gotta love Michael Jordan. What an awesome dude. Probably still dunking over people, you know? Anyways, for all of you who are truly the salt of the earth and had much better things to do than watch this ridiculous assembly, know that this might have been the most, most eventful and entertaining Oscar show of my lifetime. And you know it's got to be pretty eventful if somebody as simple-minded as myself is actually tuning into the Oscars. To be totally honest, I didn't even realize that the Oscars were happening at this point until all of this stuff blew up all over the internet. Anyways, you've probably already seen this clip, so I'll just, but I'll just roll it again, mostly for the sake of myself. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> That was, a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here, uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Hey, take it easy. Oof, man, that was quite a slap, you know what I'm saying? Now, what could the hilarious Chris Rock have done to piss off this one beloved celebrity? For those of you who don't know, Chris Rock was referencing the G.I. Jane movie that came out in 1997, starring Demi Moore, who rocked this friggin' Hitman haircut. And Marty the Zebra was making a joke at Jada Smith's expense because of her pretty darn bald head. Now, if you didn't know this, Jada Smith suffers from alopecia. And normally, I don't really care about what physical ailments these crackpot celebrities have, but it's relevant to this story, okay? Which is a hair condition that basically makes your hair a lot thinner, and in some cases, straight up makes you bald. Now, I thought that was pretty funny in Chris's defense. He's always been one of my favorite comedians. And I also really believe that there's nothing that can't be joked about. You know, jokes make horrible things seem less horrible, and could be a great coping mechanism for making terrible situations a bit more bearable. <laughs> So, no, I don't personally think he was very much out of line. You know, he's a comedian. That's what comedians do. They make jokes, okay? Duh. And to be fair, Will seemed fine with the joke in the first place anyway. It was only after I'd imagined Jada gave him the lazy eye that he decided to go friggin' Hancock on Chris. Here's the thing. Who's in the wrong here? I've already made it perfectly clear that I really don't think Chris was out of line. Yeah, his joke was kind of insensitive, but Jada, you're a movie star. It's part of your job to get criticism. You've been doing this for years now. How could you expect people to not make fun of you to some capacity? All I'm saying is that I feel like you should have a thicker skin by now. Now, was her husband gonna take that? Was he gonna just stand by and watch while his beautiful bride was belittled by this comical terrorist? No. It was time to act to stand for the innocence of his untainted soulmate. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. Yeah, Will was definitely in the wrong. <laughs> First of all, you'd think that adults would be able to handle these types of confrontations the way, you know, adults handle things. Come up and talk to Chris after the show, let him know that the joke was out of line and ask him to apologize. You don't have to make a freaking scene. Although, on behalf of all of us who were insanely entertained, I do have to thank Will Smith for making the Oscars ten times more interesting than they usually are. That is how fully grown children handle things. And if we're honest here, I really doubt that Will did it to defend her honor. He sure doesn't care when Jada goes off and sleeps with other men. Why should he care that she was made fun of by Chris Rock? 
Jada is anything but honorable. After being caught cheating on her husband, she made the excuse of coming out and saying that she wanted to have an open marriage, which is an oxymoron really. Marriage by definition is closed. Now if you have as much sense as an ant, then you'll probably recognize that Jada was just caught up in a lie and decided to make up the most ridiculous excuse and make herself out to be the victim and force Will into a polyamorous relationship so that she wouldn't get any blame or backlash. Which is, you know, the way all feminists feel face anything resembling consequences for their actions. Absolve yourself from any guilt and make yourself out to be a victim and paint everyone else in the wrong. Will, you deserve way better than this concubine you pretend to care about. You're the ultimate badass and have made an awesome name for yourself, drawing millions of admirers from not just your insane charisma, but your fortitude to be an epic action star. And plus, Jada doesn't even have any honor to defend. So making a fool of yourself, while entertaining to us, really doesn't accomplish anything except solidifying to all of us that you yourself are a professional simp that can't take a joke. You really should have let your wife's boyfriend do the honor defending. At this point, it made you look very overzealous and pathetic at the same time. Plus, it's not a great look to bitch slap one of the hosts in an award show where you'll be given the highest honored award there. Notice how he apologized to everyone except Chris Rock, who really was just trying to make the tension in the room a little lighter in the first place. He also made sure to ask if they will invite him again because he knows that his entire career is all based on his reputation. A reputation that has really only gone downhill in the past decade, if we're all honest. Did you really think that you needed to add any other demerit to your diminishing influence? I sure didn't see anyone karate kick Ricky Gervais a couple of years ago when he called out all of Hollywood in his epic monologue. Thank you, Ricky, for being one of the last sane people in all of Hollywood. Anyways, the point is, Chris made a joke, Will got mad because his mistress did a sad, and all of us got to be completely fed on this buffet of hilarity. And the Oscars are so out of touch and boring that the only thing that could make anyone actually watch this show is physical violence on stage. <laughs> How sad is that? Sorry, not sorry, Hollywood. People are tired of your bullshit. And we all have way better things to do than to watch millionaires virtue signal and act like they have any idea what it's like to be a normal human being. It's getting old and stale. Also... Why the Oscars thought that Amy Schumer would be a good host in anything is a mystery to me. Thinking Amy Schumer is a comedian is basically the same as thinking that a cheese grater would make a good massage gun. This is a decision everyone will regret. <laughs> well, that was another rant. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to come by anytime to socialize, interact, or just plain hang out. I'm here for the long haul. And if we learned anything from this video, I think the lesson is don't be a dick, or take a joke, or don't idolize people in Hollywood. They're basically just a bunch of entitled, childish pricks who make their money off of getting attention. Those are pretty good life lessons to go by, I feel like. So enjoy. It's out in the atmosphere. There you go. Peace out, beautiful people. Don't die. It's bad for your health. Solid to the max.